Hockey Classic Cup Final, Shang and Shambles. Over here in purple, we have Soy. Starting at 4 o'clock of this map. Memo at 12. In the green pieces for Shang, obviously. Both players, Shang for Shang. We're on the Rivers map. We got a 1 crossing map, and I'm going to give you guys a second to check out the mini map. Hmm. The food, the food distribution looks to be okay. You know, Soy's got a really open map. I don't think he's going to be liking this very much. Uh, he's got his gazelle to lure here, but other than that, just the berry, his wood's kind of crappy and far away. Everything's far away. He's got the two elephants up here. If he does pit north of his base... He should be okay. He might try to pit in here, and if he does, he'll probably find those elephants eventually. But it's going to be a bit of luck to find these rapidly with a good time. Meanwhile, Memo's map is a lot stronger. This, this is yeah, this is a much stronger map. He's getting the gazelle lure. A little bit of a little bit of a mess going on here. Maybe trying to go up against the wall with these. Now, the elephant with an easy lure range for Memo is going to be a strong advantage. No, actually started with Gazelle. Interesting. So he's going to be putting up his pit now with that elephant as well. He's about to find... Ooh, just barely pathing around it. Not quite finding that. Man. Memo going with the storage pit start. If he had found that elephant, this would have been a lot more comfortable. As one of his Gazelle has done a little glitch into the wall. It can be pushed out, but it's tough. That's not the easiest move. Hmm. But storage pit starts if you can maintain your food income are always faster as you can get. Yeah, lacking a vill. He's one down. Oh, I think he found that elephant. I'm not sure. It looked like he didn't. Uh, yeah, he got it. He got it. He, it. There it is. I think he just found it there. Um. So what is Soy done over here? Still, yeah, it's going to be a bit before he finds his wood line. And basically, he's got these three choices, right? He's got three choices for wood line. This one, which is exposed and towards the center. This one in the back, which is kind of crappy. I guess you could chop through and make safe behind it. And this one, which is uh, in a really awkward spot on the hill. But he has the two elephants to work with if he does put his pit there. Elephant did get lured for a memo. Hmm. Yeah, I think Memo's got an extreme advantage so far. But that doesn't mean he'll have the time. But I think he will. He's two bills behind. The storage pit start didn't seem to work out. Getting getting some of his gazelle maybe in awkward spots. Or maybe he got housed for a bit. The granary start typically much more reliable. It's a player favorite. Now this is a lot of food income for Soy. His wood income will be a little bit slower though. Hmm. And the dock from Memo already. Okay. But, but Soy's up three bills now. It's a large advantage. Memo will have to make up for it. He does prob he probably has significant wood bank advantage because he's had these clean bills on the wood line for so long and that's why we're seeing this dock come out it's part of the strategy of the storage pit start and now only two bills behind could we be seeing soy going for tool on 21 that wouldn't be too rough and we see the first bill coming across it's a little hurt Memo sending two. His bills are also equally hurt. So the HP on the vilf, the tool, or the, the stone war, <laughs> the stone war between villagers. The HP is the same, and we already see the barracks coming out. And I don't think Memo's going to find that in time. Unless he reacts defensively. But both players going across the map. So we're going to see a very high aggressive game. Now, Soy 
has the opportunity to wall himself into this, but it's going to be tenuous at best. Um, you're always going to be chopping through. It's going to be stressful for him to do that. Uh, and I think Memo's going to get in on him, but I also think that Memo's wall is not going to come up in time. He's not done any house walls, so we're going to be seeing whatever unit Sloan makes is probably going to get in. And I think we're going to be seeing the tool age in just a few seconds from Soy. He's been at 21 pop for so long. This could be like an 8.30 time. Clover's already out. I think he's going to be going Axer, which is a big which is a big mix-up. I mean, if you followed Soy throughout this tournament, you'd know that he's been going for... He's been going for scouts nearly every game, and here's the 840 tool from Soy really dangerously fast. And Memo needs to run this guy away. But to save for the time being, but as these upgrades come in, and as the Axer stream across, and we see the stable. Interesting, so maybe no Axer. Maybe really comfortable with the fact that his opponent is still open. Memo a little bit slower, but he does have the safe fishing boats for some food income should both players run out of food now, but oof. 40 seconds later for Memo, which is a pretty significant time. The time difference, the scout from Soy is about to pop out. We already see the plus two upgrade and the axe upgrade. Interesting choice from Soy. No armor. I don't believe he's going to be going for the armor as I think this is going to be his only axe. It's really low. So they got 5 HP. Ooh, another barracks. Could we be seeing Slinger? Maybe more Axer? Do we see Stone Income? No, and both players nearly identical. Memo just a little bit behind. So I already with the plus two, plus two scout out on the map. Is this fully walled? Is there a hole there? I... I can't tell. I can't tell what's going on there. That's some weird some weird stuff going on there. Now the slingers from Memo, aggressive slingers and scouts are going to be coming out. And the first scout is out for him. No plus two armor yet though. And what's going on here? I don't know what I don't know what is happening there. Some weird glitch for Memo microing very poorly. He's going to be losing two bills for free essentially, and his other granary is now threatened. This is a lot of scouts. This is a problem. Memo needs to run these bills away, and if he does, then then he's looking to be in trouble. Now the counter aggression is strong here, but solely with that time advantage, it's going to be in pretty good shape. However, Memo did manage to make six villagers safe, whereas Soy was unable to secure his wood line. But both players on. Just a few fishing boats still. Now, the scouts from Soy are coming across the map. We're going to be getting a bit of a battle in the middle of the map. This rush. Both players just all in on this rush. Memo hunting down the villagers. Soy attempting to peel off those scouts. Now, <laughs> we see the same forest being chopped. But Memo's lost all of his food income, and Soy's lost all of his wood income. So whoever's going to be able to secure the sea at this point is going to get a bit of an advantage. And if Memo spots all these villagers, this could be problematic for Soy. Especially since Soy has yet to make any of his villagers safe with walls. Ooh, 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 and the scout gets blocked and bodied, and that scout dies. Now, <laughs> what we're seeing here now is both players unable to maintain... This army production scouts extremely expensive. Their upgrades very expensive. It's nearly impossible to maintain that food cost. Oh, and Memo's in danger of trapping through, and one villager gets picked off. So both players know where the wood line is. Oh, oh. Oof, that's getting dangerous over there. The first scout ship, though, is Memo's, and. I think this is just going to be a quick bloody game. I think it's going to be over pretty soon. Both players, their economies tenuous at best. The world pop has gone down since they hit toolage. And I do not think it will be going up anytime soon. Now, the scout ships, yeah, with the advantage. Ooh, the advantage. 
Memo has forced Soy. Oh, but Soy has still has the scout numbers to deal with Memo. Memo fighting uphill against that one scout. It's a pretty bad fight for both players there. Losing some scouts. Now, Soy has these two farmers kind of hidden away. He's got his market up. Memo, no market. Ooh. Three scouts and two scout ships for, for Soy. Did he win on the seat? No, okay. Memo went back for repairs. And we got three on two now. Ooh. Soy out of nowhere. Getting a lead. The slinger being microed around. Scouts. The scouts from Soy are all very hurt, except for the freshest one. Oh, and three villagers from Memo getting caught out. Oof. Oof. Repair bills. I think, I mean, Soy's got the numbers here. Memo not able to get the repair off. And ooh, the slinger made it to this this wall. You can slowly start picking away at these villagers. Now Memo's wood line here just got trounced, and now Memo's forced off the sea. And I think Soy's done it. And what it looked like Memo had sea control, but with Soy taking that away. I was about to say that Soy was in a great position, but it appears he will be losing most of his villagers. He's going to be down to two <laughs> pretty soon if another scout gets in here. Now Memo cannot open this wall and run away because there are just so many scouts from Soy still. And the difference here being that Memo's been throwing his scouts at the wood line. And he just lost a lot of his army. And here's another scout. And this... I mean, maybe if he can maintain some production here for scout ships. But his dock is being camped. At this point, he cannot get anything out reasonably well. Oh, that Xer is so dangerously close to getting into this wood line. And now the villagers are forced to run from so he's down to just four wood choppers. Four wood choppers and two farmers. That, that's all that's all he's got. Take a look at this minimap, guys. It, it's sparse. It's sparse at best. Uh, but I, I don't know. It's really hard to call. Oh, sorry. Oops. Wrong scene. My bad there, guys. And Memo has resigned knowing that the army count from Soy is just way, way higher. I mean, we saw that. We saw that happening. Memo just did not have any units. And Soy with the C started booming out with all the wood income that he got from here. Man, that was close. Oh, I missed these three bills. What a quick match, though. Fantastic play from both players, truly.